This week we're going to be discussing rules and how following them can bless our lives greatly. Welcome to that missionary life with Arthur Jensen. This is episode three, week three, escaping the MTC. How's everyone doing? I hope you're all having a fantastic week. This is the third video that I'm releasing um, and it was essentially the end of my MTC experience. So I do have three more days, although no classes on those days, so I'm not really counting them, uh, even though I am gonna be at the MTC until Wednesday morning at 4 a.m. The MTC has been a fantastic experience. I absolutely love it here. I really do feel bad for anybody that has to do the at-home experience the entire time because it has been super spiritual here and it feels like college, but with church and it's fun and you have your friends and the food is fantastic and it's been a blast. I've done some interesting things uh, over the week with my uh, with my district. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun for sure, um, but also staying spiritual when we need to. And side note, I'm definitely coming home at least 200 pounds more than when I came out because, I mean, look at this. The food is so good here that I had six bowls of this buffalo cauliflower stuff. Like, I don't even know what this is, but man, it was so good. Now, let's jump to this week's subject, which is following the rules. This week I escaped the MTC. So this week my companion and I, we essentially looked for a way to exit the MTC, found it, and we walked out. Now, we walked up to the temple and we basically rejoiced because we were like, we're not on campus anymore, we're not at the MTC, we're broken the rules, woohoo! Though technically, as we found out later, we were technically still on MTC grounds, so we hadn't really left the MTC, but we had thought that we had left the MTC and we rejoiced in having broken, or at least thought that we broke in one of the rules. It's got me thinking, well, I mean, what's the purpose of the rules? Well, the rules aren't just so that we don't have a fun time, it's so that we can actually benefit from them. At the MTC and throughout the entire mission, we learned and have memorized the missionary purpose. The very beginning is to invite others to come unto Christ, which is the essential back bone of the missionary purpose. So whenever we do something, it is suggested that we think about our missionary purpose when we're doing it. So where's the missionary purpose when you're breaking the rules? We aren't really the ones doing the work. It's the Lord doing the work through us. We are his tools, not the craftsman himself. The only way to get the things done that we need to and want to is by doing everything that we can first and allowing God himself to finish the rest of it. But I'm not doing my part if I'm not following the rules. As I was thinking about what scripture to share this week, I found myself looking at my favorite picture of Jesus, this photo right here. Um, and on the back, there is actually a scripture, which is a scripture I'd like to share this week. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As I've been at the MTC this week, learning about the things that I need to do to better myself, to become the best tool that I can be out in the missionary field in God's hands, it really comes down to the rules. I've seen that it's not helpful to break the rules. It's more helpful to keep the rules. I would implore you that uh, you should you should keep the rules because even if they are dumb, they seem dumb, they are there for your benefit, not just to tear you down. With that said, last week I asked you guys to have a conversation with someone, anyone, about anything, and I did not get any video responses, so I gotta say I am a little disappointed. I really hope that you guys uh, did the challenge because I didn't get any video responses. I would love to see your video clips to include you guys in this video. So with that said, let's try this again. This week, I want to challenge you to find out the reason that your least favorite rule exists. Please, please send video responses to my email before next Saturday and maybe you'll make it into the video. Heck, you're probably going to make it into the video since I haven't gotten any video responses. So good luck with the challenge and thank you for your video responses. And with that said, we've reached the end. My email is open for questions of which I'll respond to next week. Remember that God loves you and I love you too. Have a good week.